with a breaking news alert. Breaking right now at 9 o'clock, a man is dead after the Navy says he tried to ram a gate at NAS Jacksonville. Right now, the Birmingham gate is closed. It is the center of a massive investigation. The main gate to the base is still open. Yeah, thank you for joining us. The investigation is causing a huge backup all throughout the area, all on Jacksonville's west side. Even until 295, we are seeing traffic going back for miles. Right, it's something I was following in the last hour. JSO is assist assisting with traffic. And News for Jacks reporter Aaron Ferrara is live at NAS Jackson. Aaron, what can you see? I know you've been on the scene for a while now. So we're at the intersection of Roosevelt Boulevard and Birmingham Ave that leads to the Birmingham Gate. You can see the long ba traffic backup right now at this intersection. You see there are several investigators still heading to that gate right now as JSO just allowed one investigator down to the gate. We're going to try to get you a view of what this gate looks like, but because of the extensive traffic right now, it's going to be hard to show you what's happening. But what we're able to see are several police cars as well as different detectives at that Birmingham gate, the center of this investigation. An NAS Jack spokesperson says this all happened around 630 this morning. That driver tried to go through the Birmingham gate. However, there was a deployment that of the protective barrier that stopped that driver from making it through onto the station's base. The driver is dead. And the NAS Jack spokesperson says that that person does not have any known military affiliation that they are aware of at this point. Again, this is particularly at the Birmingham Gate entrance, and you see the excessive backup. Right now, we're showing you of where this traffic is leading to. The other two gates here, the Yorktown Gate and the Commercial Gate, are still open, and that's where several people are trying to go. And then, of course, in the left lane, there are drivers still trying to make their way to their next destinations. But again, now we have a clear look at what this gate looks like. You see several flashing lights right now, and that gate is taped off as this investigation continues into this situation. As we learn more details regarding this deadly uh, situation we're dealing with right here at Birmingham Gate, we'll be sure to share that with you both on air and online at news4jacks.com. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right, and here's a look at some of those delays here on the Buckman Bridge. Um, you can see those backups will still continue there. I also want to let you know about a deadly crash on 295 northbound at the San Jose Boulevard exit. JFRD is assisting with that crash as well, so it's very busy in that area, so just keep that in mind. Very, very busy morning as far as Careful. traffic. Give yourself some extra time. Uh, you know, on, on both sides of 295, both sides of the Buckman, you've got some major delays right out there. Yes, you do.